So, the presidential race for the upcoming Nigerian election is getting really heated, yes. First of all, there has been several reports that my very own father, the vice president, <laughs> Professor, uh, Professor Osimba Jok, would declare his presidential ambition after the APC convention. And we were like, Silo, Tony, Abilo, you know, we were all like expecting, as in, <laughs> only for my father to come out and deny the report. So, he spoke person that is uh, my father about <laughs> me pastor laulu akande the man denied the report and said that it's false report and any information on activities and actions of the vp will come directly from his office so we are waiting to see whether or not the vice president would run or not meanwhile some people in elor in kuala state are already campaigning and celebrating for my father the vice president <laughs> As in, it's a serious something. When people endorse you in the learning, you have arrived. Also, you must... <laughs> Also, you must have seen that headline, you know, that my father, that is uh, Uncle Dele Mamadou, went to his hometown after 49 years to declare his intention to run for president. Chief Dele Mamadou, who arrived in Hewe amidst jubilation, was received by the members of his age group, who immediately initiated him to be part of them. I know that we are very serious. I'm not joking. People thought, oh, he wants to be senator, not me. No, anybody who knows me knows I don't fool around. I want to be the president because I know I can change Nigeria for the better. It's all over the media, you know, people abusing him, saying, ah, it's all because he wants to win. Even with that, they will still not vote for him, he will still not win. And I just felt like I should talk about it on the show. <laughs> I, have, I, I didn't talk to him or anything. I just wanted to say it's not like he didn't want to go home for 49 years. He actually explained that he was kidnapped from his hometown. Him and his sister were kidnapped in 1973 after his father's death. And so he didn't feel safe. And, and that's why he's not been back since then. I believe that he claims he lived as his hometown. But we just found out that he's originally from Ihevbe in a one east local government area of Edo State. I'm really happy that he was able to go back home after so long. 49 years is a long time, man. Anyway, I'm also glad to introduce another aspirant by the name Mrs. Patience Undidiki, the former chairman of Nigerians in Diaspora Organization in America, which is NIDOA USA. This is exciting. You guys know I'm all about women standing up and saying enough is enough and getting involved. Amen, somebody. It was a moment of happiness for the people of AKK community in Iniguebe local government area of Edo State as one of their own Patience Undidiki. An indigene of the community who visited home from the United States of America to declare her intention to run for the presidency come 2023. So she is running uh, for president under the PRP party. And this Saturday, actually, February 12th, she has organized for an online town hall event scheduled with Nigerians in the diaspora. All the Nigerians in the diaspora, if anybody is interested, this is the time of the Zoom meeting. Anybody that is interested can join. She would like to discuss peace in Nigeria, equity, and wealth creation. So please join if you are able to. And as elections are getting closer in Nigeria, I would love to have as many candidates as would be willing to come on my show live so you guys can ask them questions like you normally do whenever I bring a guest on the show and you can ask those candidates questions about why they want to be president. And speaking of live shows, please, please do not forget to join me this Saturday, February 12th. This is the time I will be hosting the owner of Terra Developers, Uncle Kola Ashiru Balogun, and we will be selecting the two lucky winners of the free stay at a luxurious hotel just in time for valentine's and of course if anybody is interested in his real estate company that would be an opportunity to ask him any questions whatsoever that you would like to ask i'm so excited for the winners in advance congratulations you are taking your significant order to a nice hotel near where you live Woo! just in time for valentine's father father <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. And if you're yet to, this Monday is Valentine's Day. So please call helpmeworker.com or go on their website to order. They can still deliver cooked food or cake to the doorstep of, of someone that you admire for Valentine's Day. This is a picture of what they've been delivering to people. So if you have been secretly admiring somebody, this is your opportunity to express your expression. <laughs> To express your interest in the in the somebody, just call help me work out, or go on their website and order this kind of platter. You know, they can deliver something like this to the doorstep of somebody that you're admiring, or they can even take cake to the doorstep of someone that you're admiring. Okay, 
Okay. All right, y'all. It's been real, and I'm keeping it right up in here. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you're yet to subscribe, I'm watching you on Plasma TV. Press the subscribe button. Please, please do not forget to press the thumbs up if you've seen this show, especially if you like it and you can share it. Press the subscribe button and the bell button. Until next time, I'm going to see you later. Peace out.